Most of the students we talk to seem to have internalized the lessons of self-regulated learning and feel empowered to learn. It's pretty good because like, for example, say I'm doing a topic and I'm slower and Vivian's faster than I am. Mm -hmm. I could work by my own pace and then it's a professor there that I could raise my hand, excuse me, I don't understand this, could you help me with it? Because everybody learns at their own pace. Um, yeah, we are typically just sitting down on the computer screen, but we're sitting next to our um, classmates, so if there's a problem on it, I could ask my classmate. Like, that's, the, that's actually the best thing about Alex, is that there's an explain button right there. Like, as many times as you want, you can hit it. You can ask a friend, you could call the professor, you could ask the um, sub-professor, you could even watch a video. Like, it's whatever you want. <laughs> if you don't get it at that point, then it's, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> The new approach does place new demands on the faculty. For me, I would say to my colleague, this is hard work. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot, again, sit back and think that it's going to happen by itself. Your job is to ensure that you speak to each student every day. Mm -hmm. And when they leave, launch them for the next day or the next class. Your job is to observe that data, look at it closely, and be proactive in what's going to happen to that student next. Because you can almost always tell from the data and mm -hmm. student behavior if you're observing students what's going to happen next.